Do it now. Creep up behind me and saying, what's the time, Mr. Wolf? I was trying to wait for my eyes to get used to the darkness, but it's so bloody dark Can't down here. Can't see anything down here. So, I'd like to ask, if there are any spirits up here, could you make yourself known, please? Just in case you've forgotten, my name's Jeff. And my friend here is Phil. Are there any other games that you would like to play? You're whistling, Jeff. So do something now, please. Movement on the stairs. Now, last time we were here, you got angry with us. Sounded like you wanted to get rid of us. So let's stop messing around, eh? If you've got a problem, come in here and talk to us about it. It's just me and you. There's no one else here now. It's just me and you. There's some strange noises and I don't know where they're coming from. No, it seems to be moving around, doesn't it? Yeah. In that hallway. I've just realised as well it's now gone 12 o'clock. It's now actually Friday the 13th. Are you in this room hiding? footsteps, like pacing up and down in the main hall. Yes, sir, yes, I sir. I think yes, sir. Yes, sir. Go. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Here we go. Yes, sir, yes. Our investigation continues at Anglefield Hall. Phil and I are up on the second floor where an old lady has been seen moving from room to room. And as Phil is carrying out an EVP session to make contact, there is movement on the stairs. I have a good reason why I want to talk to you. Nothing untoward. But for me to talk to you, I need you to let us know that you're here and that you can hear and see us. So do something now, please.
movement on the stairs. As I hear the sound of movement on the stairs, there is also the sound of footsteps which seem to pass me. Here is the audio, enhanced. So do something now, please. Movement on the stairs. Movement on the stairs. Are you seeing something, Jeff? Something dark went along the right hand side of the wall. Where that emergency green light is, something black went across it and I could see it. One of the questions which I would ask you is do you know or do you believe that you're dead? And perhaps we are appearing as the ghosts to you, the spirits, I don't know. As I point my camera towards the stairs where I saw a black shadow move, the camera then starts to go in and out of focus as if something is standing in front of us. That's always intrigued me. You know, if, if for some reason you're here and you're stuck here, you know, do you know whether you're alive, whether you're dead? How does the place look? Is it different to how I'm seeing it? It's something which, to be truthful, if we could talk, we'd be able to find out. It just needs somebody brave enough to actually um, make the first move. It was time for me to commence a solo session on the ground floor where I saw an old lady come out of the wall and turn towards me at great speed where I felt I was going to be attacked. No, 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 no. Phil leaves the building, so I am all alone. There are three doorways surrounding me, so we place motion detectors covering each doorway which will light up if anything approaches where I am sitting and a REM pod in the centre of the room. So around me are the PIR motion detector lights covering the doors. Um, I've got a REM pod there on the floor. To be honest, I feel a little bit uneasy because there's so many doorways surrounding me. So if anyone's here, if you could make a noise please so I know that you're listening. I've also just realised that to my right is the hallway 
where we captured a shadow figure on the static cam that's roughly in the same position as the one there in the hallway looking through into this room. So now I'm here by myself. Is there something that you would like to say? Something you would like to tell me? I must say I do feel a little bit vulnerable. Again, because of all the doorways that's all around me. Why did you try and scare us out of this building? We don't mean you no harm. If we've done something wrong, then all you have to do is just tell us. Who are you? It's just me and you. There's no one else here now. It's just me and you. There's footsteps, like pacing up and down in the main hall. The same footsteps as we heard last time. I can hear you. I hear footsteps coming from within the main hall area. Here is the enhanced audio. There's footsteps, like pacing up and down in the main hall. It's just me and you. There's footsteps, like pacing up and down in the main hall. All I want to do is speak to you. If you come closer, approach one of the doorways a light will activate and that will let me know that you are here, that you're close to me. Don't walk up and down in the hallway. 
Come this way. Who are you? The, uh, it's, it, the footsteps have stopped, it's gone silent. It's gone completely dead silent now. Okay, I've... Uh, I've been here long enough now. Time to get out. Right, well, Jeff did his solo session in here. And he could hear you walking. Now it's past 11 o'clock. Which is when you came out before. Sorry, Jeff. Did you hear the noise? Yeah, I heard sort of like some... What's tapping. tapping. We both hear unexplained noises, which again seem to be coming from inside the same room as we are standing. Here is the audio taken from Phil's digital recorder. Now it's past 11 o'clock. Now it's past 11 o'clock. Now last time we were here, you got angry with us. Sounded like you wanted to get rid of us. So let's stop messing around, eh? If you've got a problem, come in here and talk to us about it. Now this isn't your place. You might think it is, but it's not. It's a community centre. And it's not down to you to decide who can be here and who can't be here. Unless you think otherwise. So what are you going to do? Are you hiding in the shadows? Or are you going to come in and talk to us?
Go on, come in now. To be honest, I don't want to antagonise you. It's not me. I'd rather you came in and told us what the issue is, why you don't like people here. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you're not trying to push people away or frighten people off. Maybe it's your way of, of letting us know that you're here. There's some noises behind you, Phil. Yeah. In that hallway. Behind us in the hallway, I hear movement which sounds like a door opening or closing. Here is the audio taken from my night vision camera. Maybe it's your way of, of letting us know that you're here. There's some noises behind you, Phil. Yeah. In that hallway. There's some noises behind you, Phil. Yeah. In that hallway. It's all gone quiet now, hasn't it? Surely we don't scare you. I just saw a shadow go past in that doorway. Which one? Behind you or to your left? Behind you. A black shadow went straight past. Not that one, the, sorry, the other doorway. But it was heading towards that hallway. You're moving around now. Unfortunately, the shadow figure that Phil saw moving behind me was not captured on any of our cameras. We end the session on the ground floor and go to the first floor to a small hallway where on a previous investigation the light in one of the rooms turned on all by itself. We have no static cam in this area so Phil will be using his handheld camera. Um, so just a moment ago, um, as we were just preparing to do this EVP session up here, uh, this is the uh, room where the light came on last time we were here. The door was locked, there were no lights on, the light came on by itself. It's not uh, sensor activated, you've actually got to push it down with the switch. And as we were just ready to start, um, we don't believe it was caught on film but a big black shadow went right across the door. Um, okay. I've just realized as well, it's now gone 12 o'clock. It's now actually Friday the 13th. Make a noise. In that room there at the bottom, there is so much stuff in there. Push something over. Move something. There's some strange noises and I don't know where they're coming from. No, it seems to be moving around, doesn't it? I 
I'm not sure which room it's coming from, if it's in there, in that room or behind us. But there's like, like thumping. Is there someone inside this room? Are you in this room hiding? We receive an EVP on my digital recorder which comes from inside the room in front of me. A man's voice saying, help me. Here is the audio enhanced of the voice. Are you in this room hiding? Oh. Are you in this room hiding? It was time to fire up the SLS cam with 3D monitoring. We started off on the ground floor, working our way throughout the building. But after several sweeps, no figures were captured. So we're up in room three and um, this is where there's a small cupboard in the corner and that's where our child is meant to hide and in fact uh, we remember uh, receiving an EVP of a child's voice saying I'm in the cupboard um, also the door there that was the door that opened and closed by itself on a previous investigation here. Out in the hallway, we've got the music box. We've replaced it there. Um, so it's pointing down the uh, hallway in case there's any movement outside. We've also got uh, the REM pod on the floor. And we've also got uh, the Paralyte, which is the same as a K2 meter. Now this room was uh, quite active when we came here before. Lots of banging and uh, it is dead silent here now at the moment anyway. So if anyone can hear me in this room or outside in the hallway, can you make some kind of noise please, maybe knock on the door, bang on something like you did last time. Now last time on our investigation here, I saw the apparition of an elderly lady downstairs that took me by surprise. Now I don't believe that she was the one that was trying to scare us out of this building. I, I believe she was the lady from up on the top floor that's been seen. There's something else here. Can you show yourself to us? 
join us in this room. And do something so we know that you're listening. At this point, behind the main stage, in the rear stage storage area, our static cam is capturing the sound of someone moving around. With dawn fast approaching, we pack up our equipment and end our investigation at Englefield Hall. And, once again, this location did not disappoint.